Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 20th of October 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, morning time here in Bangkok. And um, the COVID inquiry in the UK is still continuing as we try to find out what has what mistakes were made the, is there a, a piece of paper long enough to list the number of mistakes that were made um it's just uh, uh so many so many um own goals that the uh, government scored there um uh, but according to a report in today's guardian um uh rishi sunak was called dr death the chancellor uh because of his eat out scheme um encouraging people to eat out in restaurants you know to get the economy moving at a time when um at that time when a huge number of deaths had, were still occurring you know still large numbers of people dying um i understand that hindsight is you know like much easier but really the way the uk and the us dealt with covid uh is really dreadful they both of those governments really killed more people than necessary and those are rich countries countries that can afford to pay for people to not work and I understand yes there are small businesses and things like people trying to keep their business alive but you know a bit of imagination and alternatives like the home delivery services and stuff like that would have gone down much better here in Thailand we had proper lockdowns rather like they did in um China and other countries maybe not as strict as in China but um but real lockdowns where people really stayed at home and uh we're still wearing masks to this day actually right up until now if you go out into a, a public space you'll see around 80% of people wearing masks in shopping centers and things like that of course you take them off to eat or whatever people are you know going about their business but um i guess the cooperation from the population is necessary but they could have had that co cooperation if they'd gone about it in a different way in both of those countries i think anyway um what else is going on oh yes uh, jim ye yesterday evening when i get, did my video yesterday and was in a cel cel celebratory mood at, um uh, sydney power having flipped as a witness i also mentioned that at that time jim jordan had uh, decided not to have a third vote and was uh, going to support the uh, the idea of um, giving the temporary speaker a bit more power but um, apparently he's changed his mind again yes these sadomasochists they, they can't get enough of it so let's hope more people turn against him this time which will finally put an end to his bid uh, right let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we this is the hard level game on a friday for the guardian so we'll start with our fours uh, blocking like this and um what else can we find up here there's another four a likely looking character there we go and that's got to mean i'm going to finish the fours i think there are two more to go to four across here and there's one over here isn't there that's the last one surely i don't think there are any more to get yes that was indeed the last one if you're wondering why I say yes, because it highlights on my screen, but that's not uh, on your screen, of course. Um, oh, I'm yawning. I've <laughs> just got up, really. Um, seven blocking these two squares, so we'll get seven in that square there. I'm trying to work out what the other missing number is apart from the one. One and one and six in those squares there. Okay. Uh, a one and a six. So anything else? Fives are up there. Twos, twos. Mm. Eight. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now we've uh, this is uh, one and six. So when the eight blocks across here, we'll put eight into those two squares. So eight's blocking up and up and across will give me an eight here. Then the eight across and across here and up there means that that's going to be an eight. And the eights to the bottom and one along the bottom, and we get another one there. 
and because we have 8 down here we know 8's in one of those two squares so we'll extend these columns down and 8 across these rows and there we are Uh, and now when the 2 goes up here, and if we like the 2 across there, we know that 2 is in one of these two squares, so the 2 is blocking up there. It'll give me a 2 there. We have 9 blocking up here and 9 across there, so that puts 9 into those two squares. The 9 across here means that that's a 9. 9's to the bottom here, give me a 9 there. 9 across here, across here, down there, there's another 9. Uh, one more nine to get actually I think nine's up there yep that's nine out of the way as well now uh, six blocking those two squares so in that row there's our six what are we left with over here? Five and something, so the five blocking down here will give me a five there, and the something is a seven, I think. Uh, what are we left with here? Two, three in those squares. Ah, we've got twos down here, so that'll be our two, then this can't be two, that's our two, that's our three. Up here, we need another three to finish off this column. And the three blocking across here and up there. There's our three. Three down here, three across there. There's our three. Five blocks down here. Here's our five. This will be a seven. 7 up here and 7 across here, give me a 7 there. And 7 down here and across here, I mean, you must be a 7. Hey, I've not finished, I thought I'd finish them, but no. Oh, there's one left up here that I didn't see. That is the end of the 7s. Back down here to finish off this row with a 6. Now this 5 blocks this square, so in this column there's our 5 and this would be a 1 and we know that this is going to be a 1 or a 6 we had earlier decided. Um, we can get this, can't we, and then we can get that. Or we can get that, and then we can get this. Doesn't matter which way around we do it, really. Let's get these two sorted out first. We've got one up here and one across there. That would be a one, and the last number to place here is going to be a five. And so this has to be a six. Our six blocking across here gives me six there. Six back that way, and six up here means that's our six. Uh, the missing number here is, f no, not four, I was going to say four, but it's not, it could be a three. Let's try three, yay us. Um, and up here we're looking for one and five. And over here we're looking for two and five, so the five blocking up here, here's the five, and this would be a two. Uh, oh look, there's an empty square down here. Let's stick a one there. And then we will, I'm moving around on the chair. Oops, 
one up to the top there's our one this is our five our five blocking down here and across there means that's our five the last number to place here is a uh, two I think two across here and down there there's our two that's out of the way and done now not much more to go what are we looking for here uh, six I think so six blocking like this will give me the six there and the missing digit here is a one uh, one blocking across here. Here's our one. This is a three three blocks across here. Here's a three All we need now is an eight and we are done. So that's our Guardian um, Hard level puzzle for a Friday not particularly hard of course um, Anyway, uh, see you around. Bye. Bye